What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video, I'm going to talk about if it's okay to love Days Gone. Now, you know, this is kind of taking it at a different angle, I want to talk about a little bit kind of outside the realm of just this game. I want to talk about people's enjoyment and non-enjoyment of this game. We were originally going to do a video on the channel, we still might, talking about if the review scores and critics of this game are being too harsh, and that got me kind of thinking, especially from what I've seen the past couple days, I wanted to talk about if if people that actually love this game, if it's okay to do that, because you see a lot of people going after people for both sides of this. You know, you see the Sony fanboys, you can call them, or just people that just generally enjoy this game or want to defend uh, Sony, Ben, want to defend Days Gone. You see them getting mad at people that have legit criticisms, not fair criticisms, whatever. And then you also see on the other side of things, some reviewers, for sure, and some people in general, uh, being too quick to jump on this game, being too quick to point stuff out about this game, especially if you guys have seen things on Twitter, if, you, if you've seen things on the internet in general, it does seem like a lot of reviewers had not yet beaten the game, especially when talking about the character of Deacon and basically the story as a, as a whole. The more you do in this game, the more you expand the story of Deacon, the better of a character he becomes. And it does seem clear that some of the reviewers were too fast to uh, write the review where they didn't really get the full picture of it. However, I want to talk about all that. I want to talk about, you know, is that fair to to do. I want to talk about if people should love this game. And the answer is yes, okay? It, it should be completely okay for you to love Days Gone. You shouldn't need to defend your choice to do it, and you shouldn't be afraid. And that's basically the thing. It's okay that the game can get 70s and people will still love it and enjoy it. That's fine. And I think that we're in a world where it's not fine to a lot of people, where everybody needs to have their opinion, everybody needs to criticize people for loving something that maybe some people think is average. And you know, in the 70s, and that's the Metacritic, you know, average right now in the mid 70s, that is an above average game. People are saying this is an average game, below average, above average. It seems to be in that area. It's, and it depends also on your rating score. Some people's ratings, you know, if you get a 5 out of 10, some people's rating scores, that means you're an average game. But if other, you know, but some people could look at that and see 5 out of 10, that means it's an absolute failure. There's a lot of other games that have gotten 7s, and in the 7s, one of the games I found really interesting was Spec Ops the line is actually one of those games. There are some phenomenal, phenomenal games that have gotten in that range. There's some phenomenal games that have low 80s on Metacritic. It's okay to enjoy and to love those games. Now I'll just be blatantly honest and come out and say it as well. In my opinion, I have not yet played a ton of Days Gone. I've really only played it an hour or two, okay? But I can tell just from the beginning, just from feeling it, there is something off about this game. I can tell you I do not love this game. Does that mean I'm going to have a problem if somebody does enjoy this game? No. Everybody has their own opinion. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And everybody's going to find something about a game different than somebody else, okay? Some people that absolutely love a game, other people could hate it. Some people can find really great parts in games and, and not like other parts, and, and some people can disagree with that. You know, in like the Batman games, I like some of the uh, Batmobile parts, and I know a lot of people really despise them. I get it, though. It's what, you know, it's, it's just who we are as humans right we're allowed to do that but I feel like with the war that we're in I have seen it on Twitter too people uh, have mentioned the crackdown thing a lot how the crackdown people um, for the Xbox fanboys again I'm, and I'm not making I'm not calling people Sony fanboys Microsoft Xbox fanboys I'm not saying that but the people that were you know uh, not very happy with the review scores of crackdown and unfair to take criticism now they're the ones attacking days gone and I'm sure there's some of that I'm sure that exists on the internet but at the same time it also works in reverse. It's okay to have problems with this game. I feel like because it's a Sony exclusive, and, and, and hey, look, I'm a Sony, I am a Sony fanboy. I mean, I love PlayStation. I've been Sony exclusive for the last two console generations. I'm going to be Sony exclusive the next console generation. I love their exclusives. I mean, I, I really do support them a ton, but that doesn't mean I don't have criticism. That doesn't mean I can't look at them and say, you know, you've done this wrong and I want you to improve here. That's good. You need that. You need your, you need your your fans that actually support your systems to do that. So with that being said, I mean, I can look at Days Gone and say, you know, I think it has a lot of potential. I like a lot of it. And I also think that, you know, immediately things very much stand out. This is not a, you know, game of the year. Um, but, you know, when it comes to these kind of things, because it's a Sony exclusive, you immediately have people firing shots at it. And you immediately have people that are going to defend it no matter what. Even if they, even if they've never played the game before, just because it's a Sony exclusive, they'll defend it 
it because it's Sony. And those, all those people exist. But at the end of the day, it's okay to feel how you feel. I mean, I feel like I'm giving, uh, uh, you know, life advice or health advice for people, but it really is. You know, I see a lot of people that, and I, again, those things on Twitter, I think, are the main things. It's okay to love and adore games that are in the 70s. I mean, they don't get into the 70s because everybody gives them average scores. They don't get into the 70s because people give them below. Because if you look at Days Gone, there's a lot of people that gave that game below a 7. So how do you get to a 7 as an average? Well, that means you have people that gave it an 8 and a 9. There's people on Twitter that I very much uh, look up to and I, I respect their opinions. On um, PlayStation Trophies, that Brian from PlayStation Trophies, he's an awesome guy. I really love his videos. I love the kind of stuff he does. He adores this game. Colin Moriarty, formerly IGN, kind of funny. He thinks that this game is good. It's not great. You know, it's an above average game. So there's people out there that think, you know, that it's not bad. And I, so I think it's okay to say, you know what? I love this game. Me personally, I can tell you I don't, but I can tell you another thing is that there are games throughout time. And I'm a big fan of games that some people just don't even talk about or don't care about or whatever. Um, but there are games out there that I really, really love that have not gotten the best review scores or haven't sold well. That happens all the time. It's and even just for me. So imagine um, the, you know, the wider audience. But again, basically I'm just saying I, I see a lot of people that maybe even are afraid to say that they like this game. And because it's not a bad thing to say that you like this game. It's also not right to go after people to that criticize this game. It's okay to criticize a Sony game. Now, if you're criticizing just to criticize and you know you, you have nothing good to say and it's just all garbage and you're really just attacking the game, you know, then that, that's a little bit different. But it's okay to point point out flaws in a game. It's it's okay to point out what a game should have done. And I've seen it all around the internet and I can see it personally from what I've played. This game is a classic and I actually thought this was going to happen. I said this in our community series videos. I feel like this game ha is going to have all the pieces but it may not put them together. And look at what people are basically saying all over the internet. This game is like the classic Assassin's Creed 1 where it's got all of the mechanics. It's got everything that it needs in this game. It just doesn't execute them. And what does that mean? Days Gone 2 could be a fantastic, an absolutely fantastic game. But until then, it's still okay to like Days Gone 1. There are going to be people that say they like Days Gone 1, and for the love of God, I hope there's people that like Days Gone 1, because guess what? We're not getting a vastly improved Days Gone 2 if Days Gone doesn't sell. So we need people to buy this game, right? People need to support this game. Um, but in order to do that, people have to like it. But it's okay to like this game. It's also okay to not like this game. It's okay to criticize this game. I feel like I've said the same thing a thousand times, but I feel like it needs Needs to be said because there's such a divide. There's so many people going after critics of this game. Um, there, you know, there's, there's just a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on about Days Gone. I just wanted to kind of make this opinion video about it. So, guys, what do you think? Do you love Days Gone? Do you hate Days Gone? Where do you stand um, on Days Gone and people that say things about Days Gone? Let me know. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel, Podcast Now. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up. And thank you as always for watching these videos. Again, we're gonna have a Days Gone video every day for the next couple days. So make sure you guys stay tuned to our channel for more content and another video tomorrow.